Hi, my name is Jojo and I do things with tents in Sweden's nature. And today I have the new Altai tent from Canvas Camp here. I've never seen it in real life, so let's take a look. Nice! That's a very nice bag, compact size, but I won't set it up here. I'd like to have a bit more space, so let's go down to the field. Normally I recommend reading instructions first, but I wanted to see if just seeing one picture of the tent beforehand is enough for me to figure out how to set it up. The tent is a bit wider than 2x2 two two meters and comes with all packs and ropes you need. Let's see what do we have in here. A couple of very light tent poles. Those are for the front or for the opening. Okay, this goes somewhere. Let's see. <laughs> we have four of these. They're all the same length and size. I guess that they go on either side of the tent because there is... Ah, yes. I think they go in here. So. Okay. This seems well reinforced here. Let's see if this is how it's supposed to be. Oh. The knot on top is important to keep the two poles connected and the ropes on either entrance are necessary to keep up the tent. The ropes on the side though are not for structural integrity, but I would want to use them when I'm camping in heavy winds. Aha, there is one more thing. And this one more thing is a flap that covers the side ventilation. If you would ask someone, please draw me a tent, this would be the shape of it. Okay, let's take a look inside. We have something to fasten that here. And there as well. And then a nice mesh door. We have the same door on the other side as well. And what's really nice and unique about this tent is that you can open the whole front side as well. So here you open the whole side and you have here a flap as well that, that folds in. So when it's closed and it's raining, that's that the water runs down here. So that should work quite well. Let's open it up. This, of course, would be way too short now. There are some longer ropes here as well. Inside here, there are also ventilation openings on the back and in between and on the sides you have some storage space. Also up here in every corner, there's a practical hook. So this was a nice first test setup, but now I'd like to take it on a real world expedition experience. Let's call it an expedition. Sounds more serious. Expedition is probably too big of a word. I went to a nearby lake a few days later to enjoy the beginning of summer. And for the second time setting up the tent, I was quite a bit faster and figured out the little tricks that make the setup process easier. Like making sure that the poles on either end are aligned properly after pulling on the rope. Otherwise, you might have some wrinkles in the fabric. It's also one of the reasons why you should always Camp with friends, it's easier to roll up these things if, if you're two people. So I think it is a good tent if you're somewhere for a couple of days because it is sturdy enough for any environment, a very tough uh, floor fabric. If you're on a place like this, with this beautiful view, it's really nice to open it up from all sides. You feel the wind coming through and you're protected from the sun in the shade. That is quite nice. 
but it is quite warm today. So I think I will now change into my swimwear and take a dip. But for this, I think I'll need some privacy. I wasn't expecting to like the tent also as a day setup at the lake. I think that's where it shows its strength with the wide opening on the side. With this, it feels very spacious. So I think that's the perfect mix of features for small to medium sized adventures, wherever there is a wonderful view. <laughs>